Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Continuing on with the Bad Batch wave, we've got number 7, we're looking at the Imperial Clone Shock Trooper. So this is uh, from the appearance in the Bad Batch, and uh, you know, you could use it as a Republic <laughs> Clone Shock Trooper if you really wanted to. Um, yeah, I'm excited, I like, the, I like that there's more clones coming out. Uh, they've gone with the slightly animated appearance with this one, obviously based on the Bad Batch, where they don't have this sort of black stripe over the top of the visors, so... Seems to be the sort of main difference between animated and realistic, um, in terms of what they're doing in, with the action figures, but uh, artwork on the side looks good. You can, can't even tell that it's a shock trooper. Right up on the back, again number seven. So yeah, let's let's crack this one open and have a look. All right, here is the Imperial Clone Shock Trooper, which is kind of weird to say. <laughs> it just doesn't feel right having clones as Imperials yet. It just it just that hasn't sunk in, even though we've had a season of Bad Batch, which has sort of uh, shown us shown us how that's playing out. Um, obviously, there was going to be a transition period all the time. It's just kind of kind of weird to wrap my head around clones serving the Empire. Um, but yeah, it's all part of Palpatine's master plan. So this is a nice looking figure. It's the same sculpt we've been seeing for the last couple of years uh, with the new updated clones, pinless tech, beautiful stuff. Uh, the helmets are still, they leave a little bit to be desired, but this one's turned out all right. Uh, there were a few early on that were a little bit rough, but they seem to have uh, course corrected and, and got the helmets looking pretty damn good. Um, so he comes with his smaller rifle and his larger rifle. Uh, no extra sort of paint details on either of those. Um, really nice sort of striking red paint. That's something I've always liked about the uh, the shock troopers, even Imperial and Republic. Just an awesome vibrant red of the red on the pauldron, which is uh, looking nice. Nice reds, a little bit of a little bit of weathering and stuff, chip paint and stuff. Some marks up there. A red belt. It's looking pretty good. So they've used it on the Camino clones, um, the 332nd, and I feel like there was one more, the Elite Squad from Bad Batch. So they've all used this same mold now. There might have been one more, I'm just not, not thinking about it. So we're going to compare this to the original Phase 2 Shock Trooper here from the, end, the old Entertainment Earth 4-pack. You can see a little bit of difference, uh, particularly in the reds. This one's a bit more of a sort of, you know, brighter sort of cherry red. It just looks good when it's standing on its own. This one looks a little bit darker in comparison, but also still very nice and vibrant red. Um, Obviously, you can sort of tell the difference with the head sculpts, which I don't know why they sort of diverted away from this one. It looks good. Um, and it's taking me a little while to get used to not having that black band around the uh, Clone Trooper helmets, which is just a design aesthetic they used for the Clone Wars and Bad Batch um, for the animation. So I'm not sure what the uh, design purpose of that was, really, because the sculpt's actually there with the black band, so... If you wanted to add it on, it could be as easy as just getting a really nice fine sharpie and carefully carefully drawing that black line on, um, if you really wanted to. Um, I'm not going to bother, bother too much. I've got this guy going to sit on my Bad Batch shelf and this guy's up with my Revenge of the Sith, so they're not actually going to be together, so there's not going to be too much sort of clash of colours there. This one's got some nice weathering, um, whereas this one's sort of reasonably clean, except for those parts I did sort of mention before. Um, yeah, I'm digging it, guys. I really am. I, I, I'm always happy to see more clones, more Clone Wars era figures. Like, yeah, if, if there's anything I could ask for, more clones. Like, love troop building. You know, even if it's sort of a one-off, you know, they could put out another one of these without the pauldron, have a little squad of shock troopers. That'd be fantastic. Um, I'd be all for it. Good articulation all around. Like I said, pinless tech, no no pins in the knees and shoulders, uh, elbows, sorry. So it's a pretty pretty smooth looking figure. Again, you sort of got that sculpted head underneath the helmet. 
may, may or may not be uh, fitted on properly just because you can sort of see the chin sticking out and you don't get that with some of the others. So it's just a, probably just a factory factory bug where the helmets are sort of glued on to the head sculpt underneath and it just hasn't, hasn't fit properly. So anyway guys, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I've got some more video reviews coming up very soon and some cool content as well. Always trying to add more to my channel um, as time goes. So yeah, hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss out. I also have memberships available on my channel, so check that out as well. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.